Hey what's up guys, Icebe here and today I have the Storm Raven gunship in my Dark Angels color scheme of course here is one of the um, bigger flyer the biggest in the Space Marine range not including the Corvus Black Star of course because that is Death Watch and all the Dark Angels vehicle like flyer like the Nephilim Jet Fighter or the Black Dark Talon one of those words is um, small a little bit Mine is a little bit customized with an extra 3D printed hole. Here it is on the uh, stand itself. I shall take that out. Um, the stand is okay, but since I have modified mine a little bit, uh, I have put in a little brass rod right here to give it extra grip, and I have messed up the top, so yeah, don't worry about that. The thing itself is like so. I have did a little bit of customization as I said um, basically the um, what you call it um, root tail got moved all the way to the back uh, so that I could fit in a little um, extra hole extension uh, why don't I show you the video of it before it's painted Pass XP here here is the Storm Raven before I paint it um, well, mostly just gluing the extension parts to the uh, base of the Storm Raven. The um, kit itself is fine. I just add some magnets for the uh, weapons uh, underneath the uh, Vito engine, or is it the uh, thingy over here? That is a three by two millimeter magnets, I believe. And these uh, for the uh, weapons are just uh, two by ones. Uh, it fits perfectly into the uh, existing little stem thing where you put it to the uh, side of the top turret where it would be and yeah, just magnets on like that um, as for the fits, well I did overexpose my little prints a little bit so it came out a little bit big but I had to do some gap filling right there you can see all the white spot and print out a new like cover for the part right here because the seam was a little bit too big and I don't really want to sand that much so yeah aside from that it's pretty good oh I have also uh, made a little bit of uh, cover armor piece because otherwise it would just be like a flat like plane just whoop, goes in like that it's a little bit weird so yeah a little bit panel give it some characters and yeah I did glue the uh, cockpit glass in because I'm gonna paint it anyway so it doesn't matter save the marine inside for some other project and yeah for aside from that here is all the parts I have about to put on skewers or onto paint handles and yeah that's about it for the past and aside from that back to the video I'm back to the painted model right here I have painted the what you call the cockpit in a solid metallic red or candy red you could call it because well not gonna look inside very often and well extra uh, marine bodies and parts always welcome uh, most of the part is separate as you can see here I have the build the metal build right now plasma cannon multi melter and the um, hurricane bolters um, the thing here are magnetized you can see uh, I should take those off first and then we'll go into the um, option parts once we have a look at the vehicle itself so the doors are shut um, front hatch and the rear ones are uh, glued shut the front super tight I don't want to twist the door off their little swivel points so yeah glue that shut and the rear is super loose so well guess again glue that shut um, yeah nothing too crazy about this vehicle it took a little bit longer than usual because I had a lot bit of family um, issue not issue work related uh, family issues so yeah um, there we go spinning extra pieces to make it look less bland but yeah I think that I put a little bit too much red actually um, comment down below your thoughts because the red there all the tails on all the flaps and fins and reds all over the back but yeah comment down below is it too much red but yeah Nothing too crazy about the paint job besides, well, just red and black. Um, these two little pieces are like clear uh, in color, but I just paint them uh, silver, then clear green over to have them like lights or something. Um, but yeah, for the option parts, I have them 
on the other table, so excuse me for a couple seconds. And I'm back. Here we go. I got the two uh, assault cannon. Get the camera focus there. Assault cannon and last cannon. All the weapon option are stock, so you just need to magnetize them. And mine are under the um, veto engines. Veto engines, is that the word? Like vertical takeoff thing? Thruster stabilizer, as you can see. That's the last cannon. And the assault cannon. Like, oh, which way do they go on? Like so. Like so and so. There we go. And for the front weapons, we got the little missile and the um, heavy bolters. Oops, just a little piece. I'll just put that on. You can see, it's basically like that. I could put it all the way in, but just a little teeny tiny for now. So I'm gonna take that off and put the missile on. Like so, this is a bigger piece, so I just and gently just have it stuck there. Oh, I should show you guys the underside. Um, nothing too crazy painted on there. Like, of course, oh, the little skulls, and I even painted the silver thing area right there. But yeah, never gonna solve it in the uh, from the bottom up anyway. So, why bother, right? The landing gear, the front one is okay, but I didn't mess uh, the. Uh, Bring one up because it is, you can see, it's not perfectly flat, it is at an angle. I pushed the top in too hard and it just goes in both ways, so and yeah, kind of messed that up. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Oh, yeah, put in a little mini there with a Terminator. There you go, pretty big, but yeah, till next time, that's it for this video, and of course, remember. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And till next time, stay safe, stay awesome, have a nice day, and goodbye.